Hey guys, so clearly there's a problem with my Z-Limit homing switch. It's not supposed to do that. The problem happened when I switched from Gerbil version 0.9 on the Arduino Uno to Gerbil version 1.1. It's not a glitch. Nobody screwed up except me for not reading the instructions. But I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So what you want to do is uh, uh, open your Arduino IDE and get Gerbil upload. At least that's how I uh, that's how I do it. So you want to go to your uh, your Arduino libraries folder. I'm obviously using a, a Mac, uh, the Mac OS. Uh, if you're on Windows, it's the same deal. Just go to your Arduino's libraries folder. Find your Gerbil folder. Open that up. And it is pronounced Gerbil, by the way, and not Gerbil. It was originally pronounced gerbil by the guy who created this, but then the guy who took it over has officially said he calls it gerbil. So config H right here at the top. Launch that in a text editor. I use Text Wrangler. You want to scroll down to line 339. Line 339, you can see there is a define and it devi defines the variable spindle. Had I taken the time to actually read the notes here, I would have seen that this tells you exactly what the issue is. It tells you that, uh, that they added the uh, ability to have a variable spindle controlled through Gerbil software. And our, on the Arduino Uno right there, when this is enabled, it switches the Z-limit homing switch pin from D11, where it normally is, to D12 and then puts the uh, variable spindle signal on D11. Uh, it needs to because D11 has pulse width modulation output and D12 doesn't. So this by default is enabled. And if you're not you're doing variable spindle, then just go in and, uh, and disable this and that'll switch uh, the Z-limit pin back to where it was originally and that'll solve your Z-limit problem. And so uh, Comment this out, just put two, uh, two forward slashes, like you see above and below where it says define there. Two forward slashes and space it, and that'll turn it gray instead of the blue that you see here and define, and that'll disable it. Save, uh, save the config h file after that, and then you can go ahead and compile an Arduino uh, IDE and upload, and that'll solve your problem. This next section shows you how to test all of your limit switches. In Universal G Code Sender, uh, you can, with the uh, console showing, you can just tick the box up there uh, in the middle of the three that says show verbose output, and that will turn on kind of a running uh, output from your uh, from the Arduino Gerbil files, which just shows you everything that's going on. Um, and so whenever you do that, and then you then you can test your limit switches. You can go and depress the X, the Y, and the Z limit switch and it'll show up right here in the verbose output so you can see that they're actually registering. And this is a way to test all your limit switches, but specifically in this case to test the Z limit switch since that's the one we just fixed with this. So here we are testing the uh, the X. You can see it showing up there, it's pin X, PN X. Here we are testing the Z. See the Z now works, it now registers. And then finally, we're going to test the Y. And there's the Y limit switch showing up. So there you go. Your Z limit switch should now be working correctly.